welcome back to Ava's Flavor. I'm Ava, and on today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to dip. Ooh! I'm going to show you guys how to make a artichoke poblano dip that is so stinking delicious, and it'll be okay if you double dip. So, let me show you guys how to dip, baby! <laughs> okay, uh, uh, let me show you what you're going to need. Four ounces cream cheese softened, half a cup mayonnaise, one cup sour cream, one cup mozzarella cheese, one cup parmesan cheese divided, two 15 ounce cans artichoke, two poblano peppers, three cloves garlic minced. Okay, so first what you're gonna do for this deliciousness is uh, set your oven on broil and we're gonna broil our peppers. Um, we're gonna make them nice and delicious. So you're gonna take your peppers that you washed and you're gonna set your oven rack to the very top shelf and then you're gonna set these right on the rack and just let them uh, broil until the skin gets nice and blistery. So it only takes a couple minutes. Make sure you keep a good eye on them and um, not a loose eye, a good eye. <laughs> and what was I going to tell you? Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and if you have a, a gas stove, you can just plop these right on top. My sweet friend Maddie has one, so whenever I go over there, I'm always working the gas stove. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and slap these in here. You guys want to see my roasted peppers? Ooh. <laughs> okay, so here they are. <laughs> Trevor's making a funny face. Um, here they are. They're beautiful, right? So it doesn't take very long at all. So make sure you keep an eye on them and drop them in either a paper bag or like a little Tupperware thing like this. Slap a lid on it and leave it in there for 10 minutes. We want to um, loosen up that skin. Okay, so we're <laughs> we're going to set that aside and we're going to start mixing all of our um, other goodies together. Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so uh, we are going to take all our artichokes and make sure you get the artichoke hearts in water. Don't get the ones in oil because that probably wouldn't be too good. And then we're going to dump in our cream cheese and our cup of mozzarella. And also we are going to, you know, like I said, dump in everything. And this dip is perfect. You could even make this for Easter. It would be good or any kind of, what season is it? Um, football? I mean, not football. Baseball maybe? Honey? Thumbs up? Yes. I think it's baseball time, so this will be perfect for baseball time. And then you're going to take your Parmesan cheese and just dump in about a half a cup, and we're going to use the rest for the topping, and then we're going to dump in our garlic, and I think garlic is really important in this. Um, garlic and onions and stuff, no onions in here, but that would be delicious. Um, garlic and onions are very important in recipes, and if you're married to someone that doesn't like them, maybe you should rethink... Um, Rethink that. <laughs> you know, like when you go on a date, instead of, that should be the first thing you ask. If you love onions, you should ask them, do you love onions too? And if they don't, um, say, I got to go. <laughs> Just kidding, honey. Um, only say that for my undercover onion lover, because he does like onions, he just doesn't admit it. So whatever. I hide them and stuff anyways. Okay, so I'm just mixing this around, and gonna mix it up really nice and good. And I'm um, going to check on my peppers. So I have a couple more minutes. And then we're going to add those in here. And uh, we'll get to rolling. Okay, guys. So my peppers have been hanging out for about 10 minutes. And now I'm just going to get a little paper towel and just kind of rip the skin off. And um, you can use like a latex glove if you wanted to. Or you can just use your hands. Do whatever. But it just comes kind of wipes right off and I already did the first one and oh poblano peppers are a, a mild pepper so if you wanted you know some heat in there leave some of the seeds and then look there it is I'm gonna dump these seeds out and then go through and chop it up and add it to my mixture 
And then we are, I'm just gonna do this with my hands. I don't got time to mess around. <laughs> just kind of shake it off. You can rinse it up, um, under some water too to get more seeds out. And it won't hurt if I leave a few in there. And then I'm just gonna give it a nice little chop and dump it in my bowl. And then I'll see you guys in a sec when I um, pour it in my Trevor was thinking, wasted space, huh, honey? <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing, honey. I'll see you in a second. <laughs> okay, and the seeds in a full bottle really aren't hot, really. I ate a couple, so. I mean, they're a little. They got a little kick to them, but they're not bad. Um, so now, uh, preheat your oven to 350, or you wouldn't have to preheat if it was on broil. It's already nice and hot and ready for those buns. <laughs> Um, I just greased my little beautiful favorite cast iron skillet and I'm going to dump this in here because it's going to be perfect. Chubb always making fun of me, but the cast iron skillet's going to work beautiful because it's going to keep the dip nice and warm for, you know, a while after you pull it out of the oven. So there, honey, chew on that. Um, also you could add some spinach in Notorious TIP, add some spinach to this. Whatever um, artichoke dip you have left, if there is any, um, make like a panini sandwich, like a turkey and artichoke um, poblano dip panini. Doesn't that sound delicious, right? Or you can change the cheeses up. You could do like Monterey Jack or, you know, anything. You do what you like. Do what makes that belly nice and happy. <laughs> um, okay, so then you're going to take the rest of your Parmesan cheese and just drizzle it over the top and we're gonna slap this in the oven um, for about 25 minutes just until it is nice and bubbly okay guys so it's done and it's beautiful and I stuck it under the broiler because um, I like to broil things <laughs> for like a minute to get the cheese extra nice and beautiful and crispy and I toasted a baguette too and I'm gonna go for a dip this is probably not a good idea because I know it's going to be super hot, but I always do this. Anyways, look, it's steaming. Um, you could serve this with tortilla chips, it would be good. Uh, even some veggies. Um, uh, I'm trying to talk so this can cool down. I guess I better blow on it. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Oh, boom, boom. Okay, it's not that bad. Woo! Mmm. That is so. Poor Trevor was probably hoping that I'd burn my mouth, weren't you, honey? <laughs> um. Yeah, this is a really triple belly shaker. It's so good. I promise you guys will love it. I got this idea from a restaurant. We had um, like the same kind of thing and I said, I'm gonna go home and try to whip that up myself. And I did. I get inspiration from crazy places like sniffing stuff or I'll see stuff on menus, um, just wherever. So, and it's super good, it's super delicious. So I'm really proud of myself, I whipped it up. Um, I hope you guys try it because I know you're gonna like it. You're not gonna like it, I mean, you're gonna love it. <laughs> and check out my Ava's Flava Facebook page and like it. And please subscribe, that would be awesome. So that way you can see more awesome recipes. Okay, see you next time, bye.